Thank goodness it's Monday. On Mondays, you get a behind the scenes kind of look at what happens here at TSC. And we're joined now by the wonderful Renee Dayton and she's got our diamond guy, Sean, with her. That means there's some real excitement happening. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Um, being that it was TGIM, I thought that I would, uh, you know, maybe we do a little education on diamonds this morning, just as something different and where they come from and where they're found. because. I don't think a lot of people know how big of a journey a diamond makes. It's very true, it's very true. You know, uh, most people don't know that, you know, 250 tons Find of diamonds. earth uh, is dug up just to get one carat of diamonds. That's amazing. Okay, so here is a map, um, and these are the areas in the world where diamonds are found. And so if you can see, just the little kind of highlighted areas are the only areas in the world that you will find diamonds. And I'm just gonna flip to my next little page. What have I got here? All right, and then, so this is this is sort of how diamonds are formed. It's what is it that, that makes them form? Well, what happens is diamonds are really carbon. You know, the difference between uh, a diamond and carbon is pressure, and uh, you know, diamonds actually uh, kind of form about uh, 120 miles underground. And of course, that'd be a, a pretty big hole to have to dig. So. <laughs> What you're seeing there is they're called uh, uh, kimberlite uh, pipes. And what happens is uh, with volcanic eruption, the diamonds uh, are pushed up toward the surface uh, of the earth. And uh, it could be millions of years before anyone discovers them. That's amazing. And, uh, and builds a mine. So it's quite, it's quite the process, quite the journey. I mean, a diamond is anywhere from one to three billion years, years old. old. So yeah. it's carbon and, and basically the volcano, when it erupts, kind of starts to push it up to... Yep. To the, to the center of the, or the top of the earth. Right, but unlike a volcano, it is a volcano, but unlike lava, um, diamonds actually harden when they're, when they're exploded through the volcanic ah. ash. So what happens is they're actually rocks, so they'll explode up, and it's actually rocks that come out of the ground. So it's not lava, it's not right. lava, it, it actually is their, their hard rocks. And, and it's just the, the formation of the heat and the pressure, that's and right. then they travel up these pipes that, that the volcano has formed, and that's how we get a diamond. There you go. A little fun fact. And then you gotta find them. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll show you what happens when you make beautiful jewelry at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock in our Diamond Hour. I hope that uh, gives you a little bit of an idea of where diamonds come from. Thanks for joining us on Monday mornings. Let me know on my Facebook page what you want to know uh, on Monday mornings, and I'll try and bring it to air. Thanks, Sean. You're welcome. We'll see you at Back 10. to you, Anne-Marie. Thank you both. Our Today Show Stopper, a stunning diamond ring.